this is a step-by-step -step tutorial of how I take my wig from this to this straight out of the box. And make sure you watch to the end because you don't want to miss any of the important details. Tanisha and welcome or welcome back to my channel hey girl hey if you are new here please do not forget to like subscribe and comment on this channel if you are not new we know what to do so let's get into this y'all know what time it is you know what time it is when the purple box show up and the purple box gonna show up every week just so y'all know so with that being said I have a new wig here and I'm gonna take her straight out the box because y'all like a wig straight out of the box. So we're gonna take her out of the box and I am going to get into get into it. First things first, this girl right here is Love Me Hair's Natural Coily Curl 5x5 Glueless Breathable Wig. Yes, it is breathable. They are coming out with all the breathables. Everything breathable. Great for your hair. Now First thing out of the box, it is a jump scare. Wow. Like, some girls may like it like this, but me, y'all know I'm finna put in work as we get into this video. But for the most part, the things that I want to point out is have these extra little curls that are seemingly different from the back curls. So I'm really excited to see what this is this like. This is the curl straight out of the box. As you can see the difference, oops. As you can see the difference in these curls so that is what it is giving straight out of the this box this is the five by five part so the closure and like i said it is breathable and you get an adjustable strap so we're going to keep that in mind this is how the wig is constructed it also comes with four combs one for the top one for the top, one for the bottom, and two for your side. Straps and the combs and everything else. Just to give you a clear breakdown of what exactly I mean so there is no misunderstanding in my First thing that I'm going to do is find me a cap. Now y'all see lately I haven't been gluing my ball caps down and that's been helping me preserve my edges. I have realized with the new caps and all that you really don't necessarily have to glue this down. Um. And I like that. Like, I like the way they've made them to fit a little bit more so they don't slide as much. And as you can see, this is what she's going to give throughout this video. So, yeah. So, first I want to show you guys how it looks on the head straight out of the box. I always crack up when I do this because straight out of the box, all wigs look funny to me. Like, that is not the actual look of the wig, but it is in a kind of way, if that makes sense. But... I know a lot of girls like to take their wig straight out of the box and put them on. So when you do that, make sure you just adjust all your straps properly. A lot of people put them on and they don't adjust the straps. They just take them straight out and slap them on the head and think that is okay. It's going to stay. But no, make sure you adjust every single last strap, comb, whatever you have to do on these wigs to make sure they are safe and secure on your head and they're not hurting or pulling out any of your hair. Straight, straight out of the packaging. This is what she, this is what she is giving. And y'all, I am not digging this. This is not a look for me. I would not be leaving my wig like this at all. But get into the knots of this wig. It is already pre bleached It is already pre-bleached. So that is one of the pros to this wig. A con is how this wig look right now. I look like I'm just about to go shout about it or something like, nah, this ain't it. This, this ain't it. So we gonna, I'm gonna work on it and talk to y'all as I'm working on it because. Step one for me, when I always receive a wig like this, I always comb out the original curls. I usually wash it, but if you don't have a lot of time to wash and you're just trying to hurry up and get through the process, you just take them and you come them from the bottom. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the different, the little 
spiral kind of curl i'm gonna pull those out and pin those up because i want to do something a little different with those so if you like to do this step you can do this step but this is just something that i'm gonna do because i got a style in mind i guess i would say or an idea of how i feel as though this wig was originally planned to look like gonna take a clamp and clamp those up so they are out of the way <laughs> just take my paddle brush and I'm just gonna brush these curls out really really good because one thing about wigs like this is if you spray them you still don't get the full effect of the curl because they're still together to get the full effect I feel like you should just brush all the curls out as much as you can before you actually spray it with the water. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And in doing this, make sure you start at the ends and then comb out because if you start at the root, it tends to tangle like that. So what you wanna do is start at the ends of the curl and that was one of those curls that I probably should have. Yeah, that is one. It's okay though. One of those curls I should have pinned because they are different from the rest of these. So, for the most part, I have gotten majority of this wig. For the most part, I've got majority of this wig brushed out and ready to go. So, this is the process that I use when I do my wigs, because I know a lot of people be wondering how I get mine done. So this is the process that I do. Me, myself and I. This is, this is what I do. Get your spray bottle. And get you something like a dimming brush. I cannot find my dimming brush, so I'm gonna take my little shower brush comb thing and I'm gonna run through this curl. Just gonna spray. Make sure you fully saturate your wig. You can spray my backdrop. It get messy. If you would like to, you can use it, do it in sections. Spray it in sections and do it that way. For me, I get down to the nitty gritty. Let me remove my ring so I don't get no product in there. So again, we're gonna use the Diva Curl because the Diva Curl get the job. We're gonna use the Diva Curl to moisturize our curls because that's what they need most of all is moisture so go in and rub in that product as we go and with this hair and this is a 14 inch and y'all see how shrinkage is real so the original curl that you saw or the original length that you saw with the curl is not the length of your actual wig so don't freak out when you get the wig and say i ordered a 14 or i ordered a 16 and it looks really really short you got to stretch the curls girl stretch the curls i'll probably be better off using my powder brush because yeah, let me use her these out a little bit and you see as the curls are changing as you're as you go through the curls change so this is the base curls that's what I'm gonna call them the base curls and then the secondary curls are gonna be a little bit different from the base Definitely, if you have a dimming brush, a dimming brush helps your curls so, 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 so much better. I have one of these, but I don't really, I don't really care for these too much. I don't know why or what it is. 
I um, tried them when they first started really like coming out and I just thought it was okay, but nothing beats the dimming brush. Just so y'all know. Nothing is better than the dimming brush when it comes to curls. So, yeah, get into those curls. And different brushes, different combs or whatever, they definitely do give you um, kind of different patterns, just so y'all know. Because um, one day you can comb your good curls out with a comb and it look different from when you come it out with a brush. Or if you come it out with a dimmer brush or comb it out with one of these. I don't even know what this is called. But <laughs> if you comb it out with one of these, they make your curls have a whole different look to them. So y'all just keep that in mind too because... Y'all be trying to get y'all stuff exactly like mine and be trying to figure out why it's not turning out. It's, it comes down to products and tools. So that's why I'm getting into details and talking through this because y'all know I never, ever, ever, ever talk through my videos, especially when I'm styling. So I'll be trying to focus. I got ADHD, so it's hard to kind of like stick to one thing and stay on it at one, one time. But I'm learning, so. For the most part, I got it down pat, and this is what they give it. Yeah. Yeah. These curls are giving already. I'm excited. See how that looks. Now, watch when I use this brush. How the curl gonna do. Totally different. And also, as when you're coming, if you want to do sections, it's great if you do them, especially if you want your hair to have a little bit more dimension and you don't want to be pulling curls apart and then they start looking as though it's frizzy. So, if you don't want that to happen or you don't want to put in extra work, do it in sections. So, I do recommend that as well. I know I'm kind of like all over the place because I'm not used to doing this, I'm not have, used to having a talk and do my hair at the same time this is a little different for me so y'all let me know if y'all like when i do it this way versus my other i'm way. gonna go off camera because my camera is trying to overheat that quick and i'm gonna just do my other side and then i'll come back to do the other part the second this part. is what the curls are given this is what the base curls are given just so y'all know So this is how the curls look. They are still wet. The direction that you comb your curls really matter. I, with a curl this tight, always curl up under the curl. So I curl it under so that it can curl and keep a prettier form and stay a little bit together, if that makes sense. But as well as not get that frizzy, frizzy look at they first. Bouncy. Bouncy. I'm gonna get into these curls up here because these are a little bit different so like the previous ones I'm gonna go ahead and spray them all with water that one should have been down there but it's okay because I'm gonna spray all of these with water it's quite a few of them and before I actually comb these out I'm going to put product on them so Go in with my little diva curl because we're going to do these one by one. So just take that first one and you're going to go in the direction of the curl. So the curl is going this way. So I'm just going to take that and pull it down with my finger to give it that look. Oh, no, 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 no. 
maybe it'll turn out a little bit differently when I actually let it dry and then see how it forms. But the curls look a little bit differently from the rest of them, if that's making sense to any of y'all. And as y'all can see, I struggle with my wigs too because I have to play with them a little bit to figure out what I am doing or what is going on with it because sometimes I don't be knowing. I just be learning when I'm doing it. And that's the fun of wigs. Like, it don't have to be perfect. Like, it doesn't have to be. It's not a perfect science. So let me see if I try it this way, really. Because I'm going to blend all of these in and then see if you can tell the difference in the curls. Y'all be thinking we be putting on wigs and they just come out so perfect and so pretty. And now nah, we have to work. You got to put some TLC into your wigs. That's one thing y'all always got to remember. If you're new to wearing wigs, all these wigs have to come with some special love and care. Because straight out the box, they don't be giving what y'all be thinking they be giving. Sometimes. Sometimes. I'm going to say that. Sometimes they don't. There we go. Now it's starting to look a little different. So let me play with this for a little bit. But it ain't bad. It's not it's not bad at all. It's really this is really a cute wig. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Scrunch these wigs up as much as you can to give it that fullness. Oof. I don't know. I don't know. But as you can see, I did not cut my lace yet. I never ever cut my lace until I have styled the wig in the way that I wanted it styled. So that's another thing that is really really handy for me when it comes to putting my wigs on that's just one key thing that I have always always done I never ever cut the lace before I style it she wanna know me I stay low-key all gas no breaks baby let them hold sleep body on to make your girl OD I get in my way never out of my lane feel like you the one in the more one so what is gonna be baby squad up we finna go deep is you riding on a team got what you need baby won't you keep me company give me something to do when I get lonely I got something for you when we get home if you let me put it down when I you should slide on me, keep your minds on me On try, baby, I think you should side with me Stay solid one time if you lie with me Just promise you never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck, I know it's all love Everything good, keep the vibes on crush I know it's all good Know it's all love
with the blow dryer. Now, this is what she looks like when she is minimally dried. This is what she is giving for me because I've seen different looks with it. For me, this is what she so is I giving. did get the little coils that they were putting inside their hair. Yeah, you definitely have to twist them around your finger because coming them out will not have them look like that. But for the most part, this wig is a 10 out of 10 for me. I like it. I know it's not as much excitement because I'm tired, but I do like this hair. For one, this hair is pillow soft. When I say pillow soft, I don't know if it's because of my product or what, but it is definitely a whole different soft from previous curly wigs that I've had. Those were soft, but they weren't soft like this. This is giving spongy like my natural hair. Like my natural. <laughs> Wait a minute. So this is really, really, really soft. Like y'all saw, straight out of the box, this is what she giving. With a little bit of TLC, make sure you add your TLC to your wigs because it ain't gonna come straight out of the box like this. So eat the girls up this summer with this one because I'm wearing this, this is gonna be my summer wig. And I know it's a little hot in the summertime and it's a little warm right now in December, but this is definitely gonna be one of my looks for the summer because Summertime for me is giving curly girls. Spring and summer is curly girl weather. It's curls out, yeah. Bring your curls out. We have made it to where it is shaped around your ear with this one. So you do have to make sure you adjust it so that it is comfortable up and around your ear. Other than that, no cons besides the fact that you do have to put some extra, extra, extra TLC into this wig. No cons. No cons at all. Get this wig. If you don't like the knots on it that's already pre-bleached, you can go in and bleach like one more time for about 20 minutes. I didn't do that and as you can see, it's giving scalp. Scalp. And it's glueless. I'ma do my famous head shake for y'all since everybody doing it now. So I'ma just show y'all. She ain't coming off. And she ain't going nowhere. Yeah, just keep in mind, the more you play with it, as you can see, the bigger it grows, which I love with curly big hair. So curly big hair is everything in my opinion. But a lot of girls don't like big hair and it's okay. You don't necessarily have to wear it big. You can still put your products on and have it smooth down and it'll stay down. But I will say the more you pick in it and pull in it and it's gonna get so big. Keep that in mind as well. But that's it. That is all that I have for this video. Again, go to that description box, leave me a comment, and let me know how you like it. I'll leave a link to the cream that I use. If I can find one, I'll try to look on Amazon and see if it's on there since that's the easiest way for people around the United States or wherever you are to get the product that I actually use to help my curls to make them look really, really good and stay soft and bouncy and curly and natural looking because that's what the goal is to me now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.